Hey guys, it's Bree Simulated here. Today I am just showing you a little part of a series that I want to introduce to my channel. In the past I had a little challenge series called Mission to Fill Newcrest. But since then I have switched over to a new computer so I no longer have access to that save file. And I did just want to start it off again with a little bit of a twist. So as you might be able to tell by the title and by the thumbnail and possibly by our character's name, this challenge is going to involve a lot of colour specific uh, requirements and the, the, the colour is going to be the main element of each video. So I got a little bit of inspiration for this from Twitter and YouTube seeing other creators doing solid colour challenges. So you'd get a colour and that would be all that you could use to build. I decided to take it a little bit of a step further and fill Newcrest not only with houses that are colour specific but the families or the households that live inside of those houses also match the colour criteria. So here we have Phoebe Purple. Her last name's Purple because that's the colour we're doing today. So her face, body, skin tone and something else I just randomised and then what I'm doing now is I'm adding in a whole heap of purple things to her. I thought I was going to make it so I had to do everything purple like so I was looking for a necklace that was purple but I decided just not to have a necklace I think in the end. So I decided that was okay because you don't need a necklace so it was okay to not have a purple necklace in that aspect. Also, I don't think I did any purple cheek makeup because a lot of it was more for aliens and it just didn't seem to fit in too well with the character that I sort of have her as. So I've got her aspiration set on the cooking chef one and her traits are genius, dance machine and creative because they have elements of purple in them. As you can see, I'm doing some crazy purple makeup and I sort of took her as a bit of a, a, bit of a crazy cat lady. <laughs> as you can see in a minute we do end up giving her a little kitty and yes the cat is purple as well <laughs> and I decided that I'm going to be doing animals with each of these people as well so basically I was just filtering by the color purple and trying to find things that matched and still look okay and I accepted the fact like for example with these sunglasses that sometimes these people are going to look a little bit funky and a little bit silly and I'm going to give them items that I wouldn't normally give to my sims. But I think that that's okay because that's sort of the point of these colour challenges is that you realise oh, I can't give them my favourite pair of shoes that I always put on all of my sims because they don't come in that colour. And um, it's also about making some adjustments here and there, making some swatches out that don't necessarily fit in with the colour rule but that do look okay and are still a bit of a um, a bit of a compromise so yeah I had pink whiskers on this cat called Kitty Purple uh, even though it's meant to be purple so here I am building the house I have a lot of trouble with the roof <laughs> um, and that's okay we do end up getting that in the end and I love the purple picket fence like there were only two fences to pick from it was this one and like a stone one it wasn't really purple it had like some moss on it that you could tell was purple but it wasn't purple like this fence is so uh, in a circumstance like that I just decided to pick the crazier one because it, it made sense to me in a way and this is sort of where I started off her character as like she's definitely out there like she loves cooking and she's a little bit creative a little bit out there so I figured that she wouldn't mind having a bit of a wacky fence and her house is quite small as well because I figure she's not you know she's not someone who works in a career that makes her very rich or anything like that so a smaller house sort of like a starter size house made more sense to me but this is not a starter house it's worth more than the starting amount in Sims 4 um, and then these columns are another prime example of where I just went with it. I said these are the only purple columns available, they're just gonna have to do. Um, and also with the roof, there's no purple options for tiles that I liked. Like the shingles, they were more of a red, like they weren't purple, but the game classifies them as purple, so I just didn't use them because I felt like it wasn't, wasn't, it wasn't gonna match. And not only that, 
they weren't purple so it didn't make sense to use them so I just went with a darker tone along with the <laughs> roof trim that crazy spa day floor I, I just wasn't going to even think about that and also the railing of the fence is a different color it's actually blue but I think it blends in okay and it makes the stairs and the fence tie together in my opinion <laughs> as much as you can uh, anyway I've been using a lot of movie hangout stuff in this build they have a lot of purples and lilacs and these Sparte, Sparte? I think that Sparte windows are the only purple ones. They've got the purple tint to them, which is absolutely wacky, but I love it. Next, I'm just getting in some curtains because this house has a lot of windows. Because these windows are so large, even the one tire ones, it's pretty necessary to have curtains in this house. Otherwise, you're just going to be able to see in like everywhere. Every room has like at least two windows. And this little room here is the bathroom. So I decided to do them luxury party um, curtains because they completely block out the windows and they have a little bit of light to them so even though they're huge it makes the space a little bit brighter making it not as dingy. And those floor tiles in the bathroom, yeah they're definitely floor tiles <laughs> along with the carpet in the bedroom. I just, I just I just went for it. In the end I end up putting paint and crown moulding into the bathroom because the um, tiles and the floor <laughs> tiles just were not going to work. And I do end up rejigging the positioning of those colourful doors because I end up needing to put the kitchen somewhere where there aren't windows covering the entire wall, <laughs> surprisingly enough. Um, so I did end up cheating getting in some extra money because the only fridge with purple was very expensive and this is by no means a, a challenge that's restricted by budget it's more about the color so I didn't really care if I went over budget so we've got our purple island and counters and fridge as you may notice there is no oven at this stage I left things that weren't in the color requirement to last where I felt necessary because you need you need an oven it doesn't matter that it's not purple that's okay for the most part this house is purple so because I decided that the living and dining space was going to be outside I thought I would at least get a computer inside so she could always play the computer for fun and she can't even sit at the island so technically you don't need the outside area for living if you don't think that having a TV outside is realistic you can go ahead and delete that but I felt like having a computer inside made it a little bit more realistic because if it was raining outside or snowing or really hot or really cold, she can use the computer inside for fun. And the other reason why I really wanted to get a TV outside is because it's the purple penguin one and I love it. And yeah, there just was not enough room inside once we got that island in. I mean, we could have gotten rid of the island and had a table inside instead, but then I wasn't sure what I was gonna do outside anyway so I felt like she would be the type of person to eat outside have a dining table outside I also felt like she would have a hot purple basketball ring on the side of her house so there it is that mat that I'm placing right there is actually a yoga mat so that I don't know if it can be used for yoga in that position but yeah I thought she could do yoga she seems like the type of person who might be a little bit more down to earth and right now I'm placing these really fun like pinwheel flower lights I just they just scream her they scream Phoebe purple and I really love that little um, bird bird box bird birdhouse that's what you call it uh, at the front and I do eventually get some seating at the front as well at this stage I'd remembered that we had a cat and that the cat needed stuff as well and don't worry I do remember a food bowl at the very end Right now I'm doing Phoebe's bedroom. I thought it would make sense if the furniture didn't exactly match. She has these suitcases here they are a bit crazy and colourful that she's using as a bedside table for some of her candles and the other side I'm using some stuff from Vintage Glamour with the giraffe lampshade. Just getting in some mirrors to make the place feel a little bit bigger and I'm trying to make a wacky clock work because I just realised that we have clocks in the games. Now I'm just going around and adding some decorations to spice the place up a little bit more than a house made of entirely purple is. And I'm getting in that pink oven because I felt like it tied in with that painting above and it's close enough to purple that I think I can pull it off. Now I'm doing our not so purple bathroom. It's very plain, I'm sorry, but I do try and spice it up with some purple mirrors, uh, towels and like a hand towel. 
So hopefully you can forgive me there. That was the most cramped bathroom to try and get the toilet roll to fit into. And I also get a purple cabinet above the toilet, which I thought is really realistic, like having a cabinet above the toilet, especially in a very elongated bathroom. So now I'm adding in that ceiling out the front that I told you about. I can imagine her sitting out the front here with her friends or her cat <laughs> and having a good chat. And now I'm adding in some of the foliage from um, the movie Hangout, I think it is. I love the little lanterns on the trees. I can totally see a scene like this being into that kind of thing. I got her a bit of a garden out the back here because I imagine she'll be the type of person that would be out in nature. And yeah, just adding in some purple plants to make the outside of our house look a little bit more natural, as natural as a completely purple house can be. <laughs> and along this side, I do get some hedges, I think look quite uniform and nice, and they do create a bit of privacy for them big, huge windows in the living room, which I think is really essential. And I'm just trying to make them blend in and look a little bit nicer, and just getting some wall decorations out the front before we finish up this build. I hope you enjoy this series and I hope you have a snazzy day. Just popping back into Build and Buy to get that cat bowl I was talking about. There we go, perfect. A little purple one in there. And that's all for this video. So I hope you guys have a snazzy day and I'll see you all next time. Bye guys.